I mean, you can buy pretty much anything on the dark web, right? From illegal substances to different identities, credit card numbers, pretty much any kind of fraud or crime that you can think of. So I was thinking, you know how people sell their stock picks on the regular internet? You pay Lambo man on Instagram and he's gonna tell you which sneaky stock he's investing into that's gonna get you rich quick. Most of the time, it's some fugazi type of info, just your everyday local fake flexors. You guys already know the vibe. But apparently we can only access like 5% of the whole internet through a regular browser like Google Chrome or Safari. The deep dark web is the other 90% and maybe you can start to see where I'm going with this. I got the crazy thought of, well, there's a lot of tools being sold for all kinds of white collar crime on the dark web. What if one of those tools is stock picks? But given that it's a dark web, what if there's straight criminal insider information being leaked on there of publicly traded companies, which if people trade based on that, that's a surefire way to make millions, right? So this video, we're gonna access and explore the underground shady world of insider trading tips on the dark web. So there's the surface web, which again is like 5-10% of the internet and you can access that through a Google search. Then you have the deep web, which is a portion of the internet that is hidden from regular users that kind of contains records, private data, just stuff you wouldn't want indexed on the regular surface web. Then you have the dark web, which is where websites are intentionally hidden from search engines and you can only access them through special browsers that mask your identity. And that's where all the sneaky, spooky stories and all the illegal stuff happens. So I actually searched stock trading and the dark web on a regular Google search on the surface web to see what kind of stuff would pop up, if there's any incidents of this, if there's any information or articles about it. And after some digging, I found an SEC press release, which the SEC is the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. They regulate the stock market and make sure that nothing sneaky is happening. Let's say a top executive at Tesla has some crazy information that they know about the company. Maybe the person knows that the Tesla earnings are terrible before their release, so they go to their cousin and say, yo, tap in, buy puts, short the Tesla stock before the earnings because it's going to go down. Well, that's insider information and trading like that is illegal. They put you in jail. Or if the executive themselves trades based on this insider information, that's illegal. Right to jail. Point is, there's a press release from them that went out on July 2021 titled SEC charges the bull with selling insider trading tips on the dark web, which I was just mind blown. This is exactly what I was curious about. Basically, there's this Greek man named Apostolos Travias who was arrested in Peru for perpetrating a fraudulent scheme to sell what he called insider trading tips on the dark web. Travias claimed that the information he was selling consisted of order book data from a securities firm that was provided to Travias by an employee of the firm. Travias allegedly sold those tips through one-off sales as well as weekly and monthly subscriptions. The band was selling a monthly subscription for insider stock tips. I present to you the Netflix for insider trading, all your favorite fraudulent stock market tips all in one place. And you would think insider info, that's kind of a big deal and you can use that to make millions off the stock market pretty easily. Surely that, would, that kind of information would be pretty expensive. Well, let me tell you, I found a copy of the actual SEC complaint and there's even some screenshots here of his listing. Buying my service will, I'm assuming he meant to add give, buying my service will give you an edge by knowing what the big boys are buying or selling. $29.95 for one sneaky tip, the weekly plan for $99.95 and you can get monthly insider stock tips delivered to you for $2.99. So he was apparently selling order book info from some fund, which is like what the fund is buying and selling, as well as pre-released leaked earning reports of publicly traded companies. The complaint says that eventually undercover IRS and FBI agents signed up for his service to investigate. So they subscribed to his insider trading tips, Netflix. One of said agents signed up for the daily tips. I guess they were a little stingy and started receiving these emails, which had the ticker symbol of the stock and whether the trade should be a purchase position or a short position. Now, it doesn't really say how profitable or accurate those daily tip emails were or if the information was completely legit, but it looks like Travice eventually started upselling on his services, charging people money for specific earning reports before they were released, and even looking to trade other people's money. On August 1st, 2017, at approximately 4.43 a.m. Pacific time, he sent one of the agents this email about Illumina's yet-to-be-released earnings, saying that the total revenue was going to be $662 million, 
with a diluted earnings per share of 82 cents. And nine hours later, Illumina announced its quarterly earnings during a conference call, reporting a revenue of 662 million and a diluted earnings per share of 82 cents. And so a day later on August 2nd, 2017, Illumina stock price closed at 197% per share, which was a 14.8% increase from the previous day's closing price. So if you traded based off of that information, you would have made a ton of money. The proof was in the pudding. With some of his other stuff, like the hedge fund order book tips he was giving out, I don't know if you can really prove that, but with this, you can't really fake guessing the correct numbers of an earnings report before it's released. That's clear insider info. Anyways, eventually authorities arrested 30-year-old Trevias and he's currently being prosecuted. But the crazy thing is, he's not an anomaly. There's apparently a whole ecosystem of these groups and services out there. And I want in. I, I at least want to check it out. The only thing I can't wrap my head around is if this Trevias guy had real insider info, which the SEC complaint says that he did, why would you sell it for like 30 bucks a tip when you could easily compound an investment portfolio of like a thousand bucks into millions if you have insider information? that's legit. So I don't know, but let's check this out. By the way, I don't encourage any of this entertainment investigation research purposes only. I'm just fascinated by all of it. And with this, I looked up a tutorial on how to access the dark web, which told me I needed to download a VPN service. So I did that, turned it on for what apparently was an extra layer of security. Then I downloaded something called the Tor browser, which also masks your IP and allows you to access the dark web. And with just those two steps, I was ready to go. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. I've never accessed the dark web. This feels mad illegal, a little spooky, but let's go ahead and start up this Tor browser. I began my journey on the dark web by visiting the hidden wiki that shows links to a lot of popular websites on the dark web. Well, <laughs> here I am on the Alpha Bay market looking at a lot of illegal drugs. I don't know if I could even show this on YouTube. Wow, this is crazy. But I'm here for a different reason. So let's go ahead and try to search for stocks. Okay, so there's this listing which says how to make 131 grand in 21 days, signals, courses, bots. But I don't know, it doesn't say anything about insider info. It just looks like a regular signals group that you could probably buy on the regular web. So let's keep digging. I ended up going on a couple other marketplaces which offered social security numbers, fake passports, IDs, stolen credit cards, all at the click of a button. Oh, this is a different scheme you can invest into it's not even a scheme per se or rather an operation you can invest into which is illegal bitcoin mining using stolen electricity and they're offering 50 percent returns per month for 18 months this has got to be some sort of fbi website there's no way this is real hear me out a crypto pump campaign i guess you deposit money into this website and they're gonna use your money to run crypto pump and dumps? Yeah, I mean, fair enough. So none of the marketplaces I found really offered anything solid related to stocks or trading or investing. So I dug deeper, started going through search engines on the dark web and eventually stumbled upon this. Okay, I think we might've actually found something. The Stock Insiders, the only insider trading community on the dark web. Wow, okay. Give it to me, baby. Where Where is the price of Apple gonna go? Where do I look? Whoa, this is nuts. I just clicked on a section that says how to get paid for my insider info. And it says that if you have a major announcement that's gonna cause at least a 15% shift in the stock price, they'll pay you up to $25,000 for your tip. This is crazy. So if you submit insider info about a listed stock on one of these exchanges, at least one day before that info goes public, for a minor announcement that's gonna shift the price at least 4%, they'll pay you up to five grand. If it shifts the price at least 7%, 10 grand. And again, if it's a major announcement, they'll pay up to $25,000. Okay, I'm only clicking this for research purposes only, but I'm about to press the how to get a full membership button. I'm putting it out there, research purposes only. Man, I guess we can't get into this because in order to join this group, you apparently have to provide some insider information that deems to be true in order to be accepted. Man, stop playing with me, what? So I guess this is sort of like a sneaky club where people exchange insider information. Or again, if you're just interested in selling it, they'll apparently buy it off of you. And they're always being salesy about convincing people to sell them information. Suppose you send us quarterly results. You can earn up to 100,000 per year just for that. Not bad for just a few hours of work, huh? So I couldn't access this insider's website, but I also found websites that track stock market trades from politicians and executives 
at publicly traded companies, which is kind of crazy, but you can find that on the regular web. It's not illegal because they're required by law to publish this info. Man, I'm so curious if this is like a trap made by the CIA to find out who's trying to sell their insider information or if this is really an underground insider trading ring. Either way, it's crazy that it exists. If you have a friend, uncle, brother, sister, family member, friend working at a publicly traded company and they have insider information, make sure you drop that in the comment section below. Wait, I'm just kidding. Don't. I'm not soliciting insider information. That was a joke. Stop typing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.